Hello future engineers and my dear students, welcome once again back to Moodle's Academy. In today's video, we will be continuing with problem based on angle between the radius and page vectors. If you haven't seen the previous video, then please go to the playlist or find the link in the description below, watch the videos and then come back to what we are doing now. So, moving on to the next problems. Find the angle of intersection between r is equal to a theta by 1 plus theta and r is equal to a by 1 plus theta square. So, you have solved these problems now. Before solving the problems, I want you to hit the subscribe button right now. So, moving on to the problem. So, as you know, in solving the problem that is angle of intersection is given by, we find phi 1 for the first curve, we find phi 2 for the second curve. So, the angle of intersection is nothing but phi 1 minus phi 2. So here also the first curve is r is equal to a theta 1, 1 plus theta. So what we do first? In any polar curve problems, we apply log on both sides. That implies log of r is equal to log of a theta by 1 plus theta. Now the principles of log. So log of r is equal to log of a by b is log a minus log by we need to go step by step so that we get the exact answer now again log of r is equal to log a into b is again log of a plus log of b minus log of 1 plus theta am i right now we can differentiate with respect to theta so what do we get here so, differentiation of log r will be 1 by r into dr by d theta log a 0 plus 1 by theta minus 1 by 1 plus theta. That implies we can easily find here the angle cot of phi 1 is equal to take the LCL theta into 1 plus theta 1 plus theta minus theta theta cancels. So, we get 1 upon theta into 1 plus theta. That's for quad fiber. Now the solution to this problem is similar to the problems we had solved in the previous class that is find the angle of intersection between r is equal to a log theta and r is equal to a by log theta. The procedure for solving them is same here. Since we find quad phi is equal to 1 by theta plus 1 theta we find for quad phi t for this curve now. So again r is equal to a by 1 plus theta square. So, apply log. Log of r is equal to log of a by 1 plus theta square. That is log of r is equal to log of a minus log of 1 plus theta square. Now, you can differentiate. So, differentiation log r is 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to 0 minus 1 plus theta square. Again, see differential log of 1 plus theta square is log of x is 1 by x. So, log of 1 plus theta square is 1 by 1 plus theta square. Again, differentiation of theta square is 2 theta. Okay. So, this implies we get cot of phi 2 is equal to minus 2 theta by 1 plus theta square. So, let's stop here. Now, we cannot move further. So, when we cannot move further, where to go? There. Well, the question. Fine. So, the question r is equal to a theta by 1 plus theta and r is equal to a by 1 plus theta square. r is same. So, we can easily compare both r and find a value of theta. So, from the question, if we compare a theta by 1 plus theta is equal to a upon 1 plus theta square. a cancels. So, we have multiply cross multiply theta plus theta cube is equal to 1 plus theta theta cancel. So, theta cube is equal to 1. That implies theta is equal to 1. Now, we will put the value of theta here. That can we get cot of phi 1 is equal to 1 by 2. Right. And here, we get the value of cot of phi 2 is equal to. From here, we get cot of phi 2 is equal to minus 2 by 1, so minus 1, right? That means, quarter of phi 1 is equal to 1 by 2 and quarter of phi 2 is equal to minus 1. So, what is opposite of cot tan? That means, we get tan of phi 1 is equal to 
to similarly tan of phi 2 is equal to minus 1. So why we do this? Because as discussed in the previous problem, since you are asked to find the angle of intersection phi minus phi 2, we comfortably use this formula. The formula is tan of phi 1 minus phi 2, that is tan A minus B is equal to tan of A minus tan of B upon 1 plus tan A into tan B, that is tan phi 1 minus phi 2 will be tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 upon 1 plus tan phi 1 into tan phi 2. So, we put the values here 2 minus of minus 1 divided by 1 plus what is tan phi 1? 2 into minus 1. So, 2 plus 1 3 upon minus 1. So, we get the value as minus 3. Therefore, tan of phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to minus 3. So, what will be phi 1 minus phi 2? That implies angle of intersection phi 1 minus phi 2 will be nothing but tan inverse of minus 3. Don't need to put in the calculator and get the value. Just keep it as it is. So, this is the angle of intersection for the curves r is equal to a theta by 1 plus theta and r is equal to a by 1 plus theta square. Very, very important problem. I hope you understood the solution here clearly. Fine. But again, as I keep on telling, just watching the video is not enough. To understand clearly and to remove it for the exam, you need to practice. Okay, fine. Now, moving to the next set of problems, we have here find the angle of intersection between r is equal to 6 cos theta and r is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos theta. So, again, the same thing, we have the first curve here r is equal to 6 cos theta. We apply log on both sides log of r is equal to log of 6 into cos theta. Again, log of r is equal to log of 6 plus log of cos theta. Log a into b is log a plus log b. Next, now we can differentiate 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to 0 plus 1 by cos theta. Again, differential cos theta is minus sin theta. So, we have cot of phi is minus tan theta. Again, refer back to the formulas. We can write minus tan theta in terms of cot as cot of pi by 2 plus theta. So, in this case, so it is pi by 2 plus theta. So, my angle we get phi 1 will be pi by 2 plus theta. Right. Next, we have this curve r is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos theta. Again, apply log on both sides. Log of r is equal to log of a into b. So, log of 2 plus log of 1 plus cos theta. Now, we can differentiate this. So, if you differentiate this, differentiate log r is 1 by r into dr by d theta is equal to 0 plus 1 plus cos theta. Again, differentiation of 1 plus cos theta is minus sin theta. That implies cot of phi is equal to minus 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 upon 2 cos square theta by 2. See, if you see here in the examples which we are solving, the all the examples, all the questions, they are related to the first class we will solve some problems relating to angle between radius and tangent vector. So that's why I was telling if you solve those problems, this problem will be very, very easy for you. So again, if you're finding difficulty here, go back to the first video, see the video and practice those problems. This will become very, very easy for you. Okay, now let's swing ahead. We have cot phi is equal to minus this thing. So here cos and cos cancels, 2 to cancels. We have minus tan of theta by 2. That means we have cot of phi is equal to, again, 6 is minus. How do we convert minus 10 in terms of cot? We write it as cot of pi by 2 plus theta by 2. So, we get angle phi 2 is equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2. Therefore, the angle of intersection is phi 1 minus phi 2. That will be 
पाई बाय टू प्लस थीटा माइनस पाई बाय टू माइनस थीटा बाय टू सो पाई बाय टू का बिटू कैंसेल्स और जाएंगे टू थीटा बाय थीटा इट इस एंगल इस थीटा बाय टू ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट एंगल आई गेट बट वी हैव अ रूम टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ वी कैन कंपेयर आर एंड आर एंड वी कैन इजीली फाइंड � Okay, so if you do that, we get from question six cos theta is equal to two into one plus cos theta. Or uh, I'll simplify this now. Uh, so six cos theta minus two minus two cos theta is equal to zero, or four cos theta. Minus two is equal to zero. Two cos theta is equal to one. That implies cos theta is equal to one by two. That implies for what value of theta is cos one by two? So what is it? Cos sixteen. Am I right? Cos sixty is always one by two. So theta is equal to sixty degrees. That is what is sixty means. So we can write. I write here down. That implies theta is equal to sixty degrees. Sixty means pi by three. Therefore, the angle of intersection. Therefore, angle of intersection is we have theta by two in place of theta put pi. So the angle of intersection is pi by in place of theta put pi by three. So pi by six. That is equal to thirty degrees. This is the angle of intersection for the question. Okay. Fine. So now coming to the next problem. Find the angle of intersection between r is equal to a theta and r is equal to a by theta. So very simple question. Again the same thing. R is equal to a theta. Log of r. Is equal to log of a theta. Log of r is equal to log of a plus log of theta. We go in smooth way. Now we can differentiate one by r dr by d theta equals zero plus one by theta. That implies cot of phi is equal to one by theta. That implies Phi one is equal to simply now I just leave it here so I will write it as cot of phi one is equal to one by theta. Okay, I cannot move further. Now we'll solve the second curve. So we have r is equal to a by theta. It means apply log log of r is equal to log of a by theta. So log of r is equal to log of a. Minus log of theta. Now differentiate one by r dr by d theta is equal to zero minus one by theta. Again, we can find cot of phi two is equal to minus one by theta. So I got two values here. One is cot phi one, other is cot phi two. Now here also the same case. So we need to find a value of theta from where the question. So from the question. If you compare both r and r, r is equal to a theta and r is equal to a by theta. If you compare both, we get a theta is equal to a by theta. A a cancels. Theta square is equal to one. That implies theta is equal to one. That means we have cot phi one is equal to one, and we have cot of phi two is equal to minus one. So we can use the formula as previously. We can use tan phi minus phi two and do it. But I think you can easily find the angles here because see, when cot phi one is equal to one, so phi one is equal to cot inverse one. That is pi by four, forty five degrees. Am I right? And also phi two is equal to cot inverse minus one minus pi by four. So this becomes more easy. Therefore, the angle of intersection is. Pi one minus pi two is equal to pi by four minus minus plus pi by four. So two pi by four, that is 
pi by 2. So, it is 90 degrees. In other ways, 90 degrees is what? It is the curves intersect each other orthogonally. That's all. So, students, I have solved a numerous number of problems based upon angle of intersection between two curves. And the problems which are solved here are very, very important and they are more likely to come in the examination for 5 to 6 months. So, it's your duty now to practice them perfectly. And uh, I hope and I'm damn sure that you have understood the concepts very clearly here. That means you like the way I teach and that I will come to know from the comments you post. So, please post comments below. And please subscribe to stay updated for further upcoming videos. And the next video is also equally important. That is, I'll be solving problems based on polar curves. As you can see the own question papers, there are three types of questions they ask. One is angle of intersection two curves, orthogonality of two curves, and one is pedal equations. So don't dare to miss the next video. Till then, happy engineering, happy mathematics. See you in the next video. Best of luck. Bye.